Hello everybody, this is Moo Moo Granny Jolene, and today I'm going to fix fried green tomatoes. I won't fix them probably like anybody else has fixed them that's alive. Uh, my mother-in-law used to make them like this, and I kind of had to get used to them, but they're more flavorful. Uh, they don't, you don't have to batter each one and, you know, make a mess with the grease popping and all. So, um... I, uh, I, I peel one of them. I'll show you. I peel these now for this. And I don't know if y'all are familiar with these or not. It's a tomato peeler. And I, the first time I ever saw one at a store, I thought, oh, these are awful. They, they won't do anything. But they will use the it's a potato peeler on one side and a tomato peeler on the other. So uh, I just peel them. If you, if you do a lot with tomatoes, which I do, I eat a ton of them, this is really handy. Uh, you don't peel a bunch of them away. And um, about, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do four uh, for me and my husband. They kind of fry away. You don't have a big bunch left when you get them fried, but they sure are tasty. Of course, I washed these before I peeled them. This one's got a little spot in it, so I'm gonna cut that out. And I, I slice these just fairly thin. And I don't know if y'all fry a lot of tomatoes or not, but the, actually the greener and harder they are, the better they are, they don't have so much water in them. Whether you're making the patties or doing them like I do. There's a store that's local to me that has green tomatoes all year, so I can have these just about any time I want them. That one's getting just a little bit pink, and it's got more juice in it. But sometimes they'll fool you, they look green on the outside, but they're ripe on the inside. So this is what they look like. And I'm gonna get some flour out and get them floured and then I will show you what I do. I have the oil getting hot now and I'm going to put about a half teaspoon of salt, some black pepper, you can just use whatever amount y'all like. And then I'm going to put um, all-purpose flour. I'm going to stir them up. Just take my hands. Try to get all the sides with flour on if you can. I'm still getting flour out over here. Okay, I'm 
going to keep stirring these till they get coated, and I'll be back. oil in. Uh, we're not deep frying them. We're just frying them. And I'm just going to, it's hot now. I'm just going to place these in the skillet. And you can stack them on top of each other because I'm gonna, they're going to be like a mush in a way when they get done. But they will still have the fried and the green tomato taste. put just a little bit more oil. It always depends on how much, how many tomatoes you have. I probably put total a fourth of a cup uh, for all of it. And I've got these on uh, medium heat. As I stir them, now I'm just going to leave them alone for a little bit. And um, so the flour doesn't fall off. And we will just go from there. I'll be back. These are, I, I turned them one time and I'll keep turning them until uh, till they get done. But uh, they, they brown <clears throat> kind of on different. See that one, that one's good and brown. But they're still not done. We, we like them to a cooked degree. So we'll get back later. I'm gonna turn them again. I've got this on uh, almost half, but, but not quite. And then my mother-in-law would do this. She would kind of take the spatula and get them in little pieces and then we'll continue to cook them. Okay, these are ready to be taken up. I stirred them two or three times and as you'll see, you'll see green pieces and you'll see the, the battered pieces. And that gives it the flavor, a little tart flavor, and then a little fried flavor. This is my one of my husband's favorite foods, so he will enjoy this. them they are easy uh, I spent about 20 minutes totally on cooking them and all and I left the burner uh, no more than half and sometimes rather than to keep from burning them I would uh, I'd put it on halfway between zero and half but most time it was half 